Welcome to question 9 of the 2021 Mathematical Methods Exam 1 for the Northern Hemisphere. In this video we will be looking at the solution for this question. A reminder that this video is in no way endorsed by VCAR. For question 9 we have a differentiable function where its domain is all real numbers and the function is defined to be f and it has these two properties. We know that the derivative of f of x is equal to f of x times 4 minus f of x and we know that the range of f is 0 not included to 4 not included. Part A asks us to find f dashed of 0 if f of 0 is equal to 1. So if we want to evaluate f dashed of 0 using the first line of what we're told, that is just going to equal f of 0, so we just replace x with 0, times 4 minus f of 0, and then we're told that f of 0 is equal to 1, so that's given in part A. So f of 0 being 1, we can replace that with 1 and that with 1. So therefore, f dashed of 0 is really just equal to 1 multiplied by 4 take 1. So therefore, f dashed of 0 is simply 1 times 3. So the answer to this question is that f dashed of 0 is equal to 3. So that is the answer to part A of this question. From the examiner's report, we can just see that they got the same answer as we did. For part B, it says determine with appropriate justification, so we need to give some reasoning here, the number of stationary points on the graph of f. So I'm going to dot point out my answer just to keep track of it. And I'm going to acknowledge that f of x has a range of and up above, that's the second dot point, it's 0 to 4 both not included. And the thing to note here is that it's non-zero for all values of x. The next thing that I'm going to note is that if we do 4 minus f of x, it will have a range of 0 to 4 as well. So when we have 4 and we take 0 away from it, we still have 4. And when we have 4 and we almost take 4 away, we'll get almost to 0. So 4 minus f of x has a range of 0 to 4. And again, this is non-zero for all values of x. Therefore, if we take two functions that both have non-zero values for all of their y values, that means that when we do f of x times 4 minus f of x, we know that its range is also going to be non-zero. So just to reiterate what we just discussed, if f of x has a range of 0 to 4, which is non-zero for all x, and 4 minus f of x has a range of 0 to 4, which is non-zero for all x. That means that multiplying those two things together, all the values that come out of that will also be non-zero for all real numbers of x. So therefore, if f of x times 4 minus f of x is f dashed of x, we've just concluded that f dashed of x is never equal to 0. Therefore, there's 0 stationary points. So the answer is zero, but of course the question said we needed appropriate justification, which is why I've dot pointed out my reasoning above. Now the examiner's report goes about it a slightly different way, and it just says f dashed of x is never equal to zero, since f dashed of x equals zero only when the function f is zero or four, and the range of f is zero to four exclusive, so f dashed of x is never equal to zero, which gives zero stationary points. So a similar approach, but slightly different. For part C, it asks us to state the range of f dashed of x. So I'll actually start by just writing down the answer and then I'll go through how to reach that conclusion. So the range of f dashed is going to be zero not included to four and the four is actually going to be included. So that is the answer to part C. So to help explain this, I'm just going to let y equal f of x. Therefore, f dashed of x could actually be rewritten as y bracket 4 minus y. Now, when we consider the case when y is approaching 0, we find that f dashed of x will approach 0. So when y approaches 0, you'd almost have 0 multiplying the value of 4, which will lead to f dashed of x approaching 0 but not reaching it. If we also consider when y approaches 4, 
So the Y value is the F value, which is approaching its upper value of the range. So as Y approaches four, we also have F dashed of X is approaching zero, but it doesn't quite reach it. So that's how we can be confident that the range starts at zero not included because it never quite gets there. But now we've got to work out why the range goes to four with a square bracket. And if we look back up here, this is kind of like a quadratic equation. It does have y in it, but we can maximize that value when y equals two. So when y equals two, we get two times four minus two, which gives four. So if I just write that out, the maximum, so that doesn't mean a stationary point, it just means the largest f dashed value. The maximum occurs when we get a y value of two or an f of x value of two, which two does exist in that range, in the middle essentially. So when we get a y value of two, that will give f dashed of an x value, because we don't know what x value gives y equals two, but when y is two, we get an f dashed value at that particular x value as being two times two is four, and that does exist on the graph. So the range of f dashed of x is going to be from zero not included to four included. From the examiner's report, they just noted down that the correct answer was zero with a round bracket to four with a square bracket, which is what we got on the previous slide.